This low budget Facebook ad strategy got me to $2,000 a day. And in the last 30 days, I was able to generate over $35,000 with one of my new stores. But the best thing is you don't need a lot of money to get started. I'm going to do something special today, something I don't usually do. I'm giving away one of my mini mentorships completely free for lifetime access. All you have to do if you want to enter this giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment Comment down below the word amazing to see if you can win a mini mentorship and here's what you get within the mini mentorship the e-commerce ad secrets course yo this course is getting students numbers the ecom lords discord community which is completely exclusive and then over 25 e-commerce sheets that are copy and paste templates that are going to help boost your profit margin with your e-commerce store you get all three of those things in my mini mentorship so once again subscribe to the channel like this video and just comment down below the word amazing to enter. I'll tell you in one week if you're the winner. And don't forget that access is going to be lifetime for one of you guys. Before we get into the strategy, I want to show you I'm legit. Why would you follow somebody if they're not actually putting the framework they're telling you to follow into place and following it themselves? Let me just bring you through the whole run. Spent 39,000, 1.95 ROAS, break even ROAS is 1.56. We have over 1,600 purchases for this product. Our cost per unique link click is around 90 cents. $23 cost per action, that's under the break even point, which is good. 77K in purchase conversions. The unique outbound CTR is a 3.85%. CPM is around 16.56 for this ad account for this product. I started it off with this low budget ad testing strategy, and I was able to bring these numbers into existence so i wonder what we can do the next week the next month and the next six months so this strategy i'm about to share with you will make all of these numbers possible for you as long as you stick to the strategy step by step i want you guys to really pay attention to the things i say and to the things that i'm sharing with you on the screen it's going to benefit you and your business a lot now first things first what do i need well you're going to need one shopify store one product on the market that others are currently selling well with Facebook ads. You could scroll Facebook ads library, see what's selling on the current market, use similar web Google extension. I teach this in my mini mentorship course. I have tutorials on this on YouTube if you want to check it out. But ideally, I like to find products in the pets niche, health and beauty, kids niche, gift niche, products like that. And then once I find something that's selling well on the current platform on Facebook already, you're going to want to make an irresistible offer, kind of like Alex Hermosa these $100 million offers book. If you haven't read that, I suggest you do it ASAP because that book is top notch and it took my game to the next level with how to structure a grand slam offer. So things like 40% off, that's very basic, but it works. 50% off, buy two, get one free, buy one, get one free, things like this. The offer is going to be different for every single product that you test and bring to the market. Now, the next thing we're gonna need is three different marketing angles for this product that we're selling with Facebook ads. Three examples for marketing angles is the product makes you look younger. The product might save you time. That's angle number two. No more pain is another angle. So you have back pain, no more. Angle number three. Now let's get into the stuff that's going to make you some money. The strategy. One campaign. We're going to be creative testing. Nine different ad sets. Three marketing angles. Looks younger. Saves time. No more pain. You don't have to use those three. Make your own three angles based off the research that you do on Facebook, your competitor research, so that you can pick three great angles that are probably going to perform well with Facebook ads. And we'll be making nine ads, three ads per marketing angle. For example, three of the ads are going to be made for the angle makes you look younger. Three of the ads are going to be made for the angle saves you time. And then for the third angle, you're going to make three more ads. And I know a lot of you guys aren't going to follow this step by step. And that's where I think you're messing up. You literally have a guide right in front of you why not just take it step by step because i've done it and this is exactly how you should too if you want to see results the fastest way possible trust me i've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on facebook to find this sauce for you guys each ad will contain different visuals different hooks different scripts they're going to be completely different ads so don't just make one ad and test nine different hooks and be like oh it didn't work of course it didn't work you didn't test three different angles 
vocals with three complete different scripts, this is the best way to do it. And if you think, oh, that's too hard, well, then you probably shouldn't be in business or you should try a little harder. The current market is going to demand this from you so that you can see success. And it's really not too hard, to be honest. So now if you're about to run your Facebook ads, there's going to be new ad accounts and there's going to be old ad accounts that have been existing, ran ads before. So if you're listening to this right now and you have a new ad account, this is how I want you to structure your ads. If you have under 10 approved ad sets, you're considered a new ad account and you're going to be testing your products with this strategy. Day one, just launch one ad set. Day two, launch two. Day three, launch three ad sets. Day four, you're going to launch another three ad sets for a total of nine. And if you have an aged ad account, that means over 10 approved ad sets are running. You're going to be testing your new product using this strategy. Day one, launch nine ad sets. And as you're watching this video, I want you to get up your ad account and start making the ad set with me. So this is the point of the video where I'm going to begin to create my first ad set. We're going to be creating one ad set at first. All right, so I have my Facebook open and it's a brand new ad account. So I want to create a new campaign. Yeah, they're going to say account info needed because this is brand new. So what I'm going to do is just go right to sales. I'm going to click continue and I'm going to name my campaign product name creative testing. So obviously for product name right here, you're going to enter in your product name and then scroll down. Notice how all of this is off. We're going to leave it like this. We want this to be ABO. So we're not going to turn CBO on advantage campaign budget. That's going to be CBO. So we'll leave it off. Now we're going to go into the ad set and we're going to set up this ad set fully before we move on to the rest of the ad strategy. All right. So we got our new ad set up. We're going to scroll down. We're going to target the website. Our performance goal is maximum number of conversions. You're going to have a pixel here. So you're going to set up the pixel and you are going to convert for purchase conversions. You don't want to do add to cart. You don't want to do initiate checkout. You definitely don't want to do link click. You want to convert for purchase conversions so that we can make the most purchases possible. And Facebook will probably give you like a warning message like, oh, are you sure you want to convert for purchases? You damn right I do. And with these ad sets, we're not going to do dynamic creative testing, no DCTs. I actually tried DCTs and they didn't work as good as I thought for most of the ad sets. Some of them actually performed pretty good, but I'm going to stay away from DCTs with this testing strategy because I didn't use it with my when I first started this new store and I was able to ramp this brand up to the numbers that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So for the daily budget, we're going to have it at five to $10 a day. So I'm going to use $10 a day. And for the start date, I'm always going to do the next day at 12 a.m. because that's been working very good for me and everything is congruent. Every ad set will start on the same time. So we're going to continue to scroll down. And now this is your targeting. This is the audience that you're going to want. So the these are custom audiences. We're not going to use any of these unless you have a product that you're already running and that's already getting sales. You're going to want to make a custom audience for 30 day purchasers and you're going to want to put that custom audience in exclusions because if people just bought from you, you don't want them seeing your ad directly after if it's for the same exact product. And now for the country, all you're going to want to do is hit one country at a time. So I'm going to do the United States. And when it comes to the age, I usually put 20 20 to 65 plus and I leave it broad at the beginning, pick up the data and let the pixel do its thing unless I'm selling a product that's for a specific demographic. So if you're selling a product to grandparents and you know it's only going to be for grandparents or parents, you're going to set that age to 45 to 65 plus and that's something we do as well. So let's assume this product is going to be for grandparents. Let's put 45 to 65 plus and then for the gender, you're going to have male and female or it's going to be gender specific if you're selling a product just for men or a beauty cream that's like for women or something. Let's say we're selling to grandmas, women, we're selling this uh, beauty product. It's going to be 45 to 65 plus and we're going to select women. And now for the ad set, we're going to target one interest each. And let's say it's a beauty product. So I'm going to type in woman beauty and see what interests pop up. Uh, nothing really. So let's just type in beauty and then see what we get. Let's go for an interest. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's put in beauty pageant awards because that's pretty relevant audience size 50 million to 58 million perfect it's very broad but that's fine because the facebook algorithm is getting smarter and smarter by the day so facebook becomes very good with targeting the right customers and placing your ad in front of the people who want to see it think about when you're scrolling on tiktok you're scrolling on instagram you go to the explore page or something that whole feed is going to be filled with posts that you're interested in because
because the algorithm knows you probably better than you know yourself. And that's exactly what the Facebook algorithm does with ads. So as long as we give them an interest to kind of gauge and look at that type of audience, they're going to be able to find your customers like that very easily. All right. So now we want to exclude a couple of interests. And the first one is going to be Shopify. The next one is going to be AliExpress. And we're going to exclude drop shipping. The reason why we exclude these three interests is so our competition isn't seeing our ads and we're not wasting money by sending our ad to our competition. And something I want to throw out there, if you have over a thousand purchases on your ad account for a product that you're doing further creative testing with, you can X out this interest and leave it as broad. But I'm going to go back and put this interest back in for you guys with new ad accounts, testing new products. Don't forget, you're going to be testing one interest per ad set to get the best results that you can. Now scrolling down to the placements, advantage plus placements, it's recommended and I recommend it too if you're testing a new product. So now we're going to scroll to the top and we're going to name our ad set. And for the ad set naming, it's going to look like this interest, the exclusions you made, followed by the country, age, gender, and then the placements, which is auto advantage plus. So the ad set name should look something like this. There's the interest beauty pageant awards, the exclusions, Shopify, AliExpress, drop shipping. The country is US, the age is 45 to 65 plus for this ad set. The gender is female and then auto placements. By the end of this strategy, we're going to have nine ad sets, one ad each. So now we're going to move on to the ad setup. And what's this going to consist of? One video per ad, one ad copy, and I recommend studying your competitors ads. And once you identify what performs well, you get a product. It has like 20 ads running, 50 ads running, 100 ads running. The similar web is showing a lot of traffic to the store. You're going to go to Amazon and try to find that product. If it's on there, great, because you can study the customers from Amazon. And those are going to be real reviews on that product that you're selling. So you can study what the customer wants, study the angles that they want. If somebody's commenting, I love this beauty product. It makes my daughter so happy. You know, parents are buying it. You know, they're using the keyword loves. And then once you find ads on Facebook for that product, study the ad comments. When you implement keywords that customers are using and you throw what customers are saying back into their face, these ads typically do very well. And you don't have to do that with the ad copy. You could do that with the visual, the on-screen text, and you could really make a banger ad. And something that works very good, especially for testing, maybe try using a review quote for the ad copy or a review quote for the on-screen text for the hook or something like that. This is going to make a really great ad copy. This makes a really good ad usually, a review or something. So you could take the product review angle if you want. For the headline, it's going to be your product's offer or your number one benefit for the product you're selling. So for example, it's either going to be 40% off as your headline or your headline's going to be number one calming doggy toy, something dope. And for your ad description, free shipping today and make sure you're giving free shipping on your products so that you have a great conversion rate with it. And for the ad name, it's going to look something like this, B1C1 angle hook. So what does that mean? If batch one, creative one, we're going to run ads in batches. So if you want batch one to be your first three ads for angle one, that's fine. And then let's say angle is saves time. And then for the hook, you're going to go to an ad and you're going to take the first thing that's said on the visual. So this is the visual, the actual creative. You know how you get the most gorgeous blowouts at dry bar? So I just implemented in the hook and it's literally the first line that she said, you know how you get the most gorgeous blowouts at dry bar. We're on the ad level. What I do is I select my Facebook page. I select my Instagram account for the store that I'm selling with. So to set up our first ad, I'm going to add in one video per ad. So I'm going to go down to the ad setup, create ad, make sure this says single image or video. You go to ad media, add the video, and then you place it in. You either want this 1080 by 1080 or 1080 by 1350 or a three to four ratio. If you're making your ads on cap cut, that's fine. You want this all original. And sometimes they try to optimize your ad. You want to leave this off. You don't want them to optimize your ad at all. And if you get errors like this, it's fine. No worries. After you go in your ad, if you want to select your thumbnail, you can. You could go into the thumbnail, hit manual, and then select it. I just leave it as automatic during the first initial test. Now in the primary text, you're going to write your ad copy here. And once again, maybe even try using a review quote 
for an ad, like a review of the product, this always makes a great ad copy for me. Now for the headline, it's gonna be the number one benefit for your product. I know we said we're using a beauty product before, but I'm just gonna use number one calming doggy toy for the example and have it look like this. The description's gonna be free shipping today. And for the call to action, we're gonna switch this to shop now. And for the website URL, you're gonna take your product's landing page, the page that has the add to cart button. That's what you're gonna put in here so they land on the product page they're already looking at the product the product description they're already being sold so that they could add it to cart make the purchase right then and there and then for the display link you could put your website name if you want so the website url is going to be your product lander and then for the display link you could have your website name like this and then at the end if you didn't already just make sure you go to the top and name your ad correctly now after you're finished making that first ad you're going to duplicate that ad set eight times so you have a total of nine ads sets and this makes the process so much faster than making nine individual ad sets and then we're going to change the ad set interest and we're going to change the ad set name i'm going to show you how to do it right now so i click the x button i kept the draft and now we want to duplicate this ad set in the existing campaign and we want to do this eight times we're going to duplicate it i'm going to show you what to do with these ad sets so now this is important day one we're only launching one ad set we're going to wait till it's approved to go to day two and launch two more day three launch three more day four launch three more i'm going to show you the process of how to do this so we're going to edit each ad set and we're going to remove the copy for this we're going to have interest two. so what we're doing right now is we're bulk editing the details in our ad sets and we're going to have nine different interests so it's going to be interest two interest three interest four all the way to nine now you're going to actually put in the names of the interests you're targeting so if it's going to be dog cat poodle puppy things like that you're going to enter that into the interest and that's going to be one of the only things we're going to change now we're going to want to just save this to draft and then we're going to do another bulk edit so we're going to click edit each ad set and we're going to go to the budget make sure all of them are at ten dollars a day we're going to look at the start date and this is where we're going to change things up so one of them is scheduled for tomorrow at 12 a.m we want this one to be scheduled the day after tomorrow then this one is going to be scheduled on the 31st these three are actually going to be scheduled on the 31st and then these three are going to be scheduled on september 1st because if we have a new ad account we want ads to roll out slowly to make sure they get approved and we don't get banned and then we're going to save this to draft the only thing that we're going to be changing is the interest for each ad set so now that we save these to draft i'm going to be going down the ad sets one by one and i'm going to go to the interest section which is down here and once you're at the interest targeting option you can hit the suggestions box and you get a bunch of interests that are similar to the one that you already had so beauty pageant was the original interest all of these interests are going to be similar to this and we're going to put miss universe and we are going to x out the original interest and then we're going to hop over to ad set number three and we're going to do the same thing and for this one we're just going to have fashion show trade show and make sure the audience is enough two to three million is kind of small so i am going to enter in fashion week event and see if that's a little bigger this is four to five million that's okay now we're going to go into interest four and this one is going to be a little bit bigger we want broad interest because we could scale them higher if the ad set performs well this is 17 to 20 million that's good you're going to do that for every single ad set that we just created until you have nine different interests for nine different different ad sets and if you're confused by this on the left these four boxes right here that's going to be your ad set this little icon is going to be your ad and it's a little bit indented so this is an ad set this is your ad ad set level ad level so now that we duplicated the ad set eight times that also duplicated the ad eight times so after we add in each interest for each ad set that we duplicated we're going to go into the ad level and the only thing that we're going to change is the video that we're using remember we're gonna have three different marketing angles and each marketing angle has three different videos so for ad number two we're gonna change the video and use video number two and then you're gonna go up to the top after you switch the video and this is gonna be batch one creative two for this ad the next one is gonna be batch one creative three same angle the only thing you're gonna be switching is the hook that you're using so you're gonna use the third hook that you're using for that 
angle. And let me update the second one. So you're going to use the second hook that you're using for this angle. So you have batch one, creative one already done. Now we have batch one, creative two, same angle, hook number two. For the third ad, you have batch one, creative three, same angle, hook number three. Now for ad set number four, you're going to go to ad number four. This is going to be batch two, creative one, because this is a whole nother angle that we're going to be working with. And we're going to make the angle for this example makes you feel young. And then you're going to add the hook here. So this is going to be your first hook for the new angle. The next ad, it's going to be batch two, creative two, makes you feel young, hook two. And remember, you're also going to be switching out the videos for the different ads. You're going to have nine videos, nine ads, and the rest is staying the same. The ad copy is the same. The headline is the same. The description is the same. The call to action is the same. The only thing you're changing is the media, which is going to be the video you're using and the ad name. So we're going to go to ad six. This is going to be batch two, creative three. We're going to switch the angle and it's going to be for hook three. This is interest six. So let me go to the next one, interest seven. So this is going to be batch three creative one and this is going to be your third marketing angle and for this example we're going to use the angle everybody loves this and this is going to be hook one you're going to go down change the video we're going to go to add eight and we're going to scroll up and it's going to be batch three creative two the angle is everybody loves this this is going to be hook two you scroll down you change this video then we go to the last ad which is ad number nine and it's going to be batch three creative three this this is going to be angle number three, which is everybody loves this. And then you're going to enter in the third hook that's in your video. And you're going to change the video to the ninth video that you're testing for Facebook ads. You're going to have nine ad sets in total with nine different interests. So it's going to be beauty pageant awards. That's interest one, interest two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in total. And when you go to the ad section, you're going to see batch one, creative one, batch one, creative two, batch one, creative three. And notice how all three of these angles are saves time. So we have saves time, saves time, saves time. These are going to be three separate videos. So you have three videos for the first angle. Now you have three new videos for the second angle, which is makes you feel young. And then you have three new videos for the third marketing angle, which is everybody loves this. And you can tell we have three different angles, nine ads in total using nine videos that we're going to run with Facebook ads. Now don't go any Anywhere because I need to show you how you're going to kill and scale these ads. But let's do an overview again real quick since I just walked you through it and you know exactly what to do. We have one campaign, nine ad sets, three marketing angles, which is going to consist of nine ads, nine videos. If you have a new ad account, you're going to do this strategy. If you have an aged ad account, you're going to launch all nine ad sets at once. You're going to create your first ad set first, your first ad first fully so that you can duplicate this eight times so you have a total of nine ad sets and this is going to be the targeting you're going to use for your ad set and then when you move to the ad setup you're going to have one video per ad nine total and you're going to use the same ad copy the same headline the same description for all nine of your ads and you're just going to name the ads differently based on what variables you're using for the ad and after you make that ad fully you just duplicate it eight times you switch the scheduling the interest the ad videos, and then you have a total of nine ad sets, nine ads. And once that's all set up, we're going to need to run these ads and we're going to need to become profitable with these ads. So it's so crucial to know what your BEP is. And this is the BEP formula. This is going to be the break even point for your product. So if you're selling a product on Shopify and let's say the product price is $40, you're going to subtract your cost of goods sold. And let's say you're buying that product from your supplier for $15, that means you have a $25 break even point. That's ideally where you're going to run your ad till until you cut that ad set off. Now, when it comes to the killing and the scaling of ad sets for your new products, to turn off an ad set, you're just going to click this little blue button and it's going to shift to the left. And that means your ad set is killed. It's turned off. But what you never want to do 
is delete an ad set. And what you never want to do is go to the ad level and turn it off from here. You always want to go to the ad set level and turn your ad sets off from there. The minimum amount of days you want to run your ad sets for is three days. Here's what I'm doing with my store. This is how I was able to test efficiently and make my product work. I'm killing every ad set at one times the break even point. So let's say your break even point is $20. If your ad set is running for three days and it has spent $20, $20 and your ad set has no sales by that point, you're going to kill that ad set by pausing it. The only exception of killing an ad set before that three day mark, before that break even point mark, is if your ad set has spent $10 at least and your cost per unique link click is higher than $3 and that ad set has no sales, you're going to kill it. Now, when it comes to scaling, after those first three days of running your ad set, you're going to scale the winners and you're going to focus on more testing based off what you see working in your ad account, what ads are performing good, what angles are performing good, and it's going to be different for everybody. Maybe you're going to run a couple of ads and those were the least expected ads to work and those are usually the ones that hit home. Now here's a little note PS, I noticed it was happening to many of my students. If you have a new ad account, Facebook might cap your ad spend at $50 a day for about two to three weeks, maybe even four weeks after hitting that $50 a day mark. So to break through that $50 cap, that daily spending limit that they're going to hold you at, you want to spend that $50 threshold every single day to break through that cap. Reach out to customer support every three to four days and just ask them to lift the daily spending limit. If you bring good energy, you might get a rep that will lift that daily spending limit earlier just because you were kind. It worked for me within three weeks. Hope this video helped, guys. Peace.